So this picture behind me, I bought years ago. And I always tell everybody I bought it because this woman in this picture just is a woman of strength and I admire her. But the whole story is, is that she reminds me of a woman who was stranded on an island for decades, just off the coast of where I grew up today on Colorado Martini. When I was a young girl, standard reading was the Island of the Blue Dolphins. I grew up in California, and just off the coast of Southern California are the Channel Islands. And one of those islands is called San Nicolas. And that story, Island of the Blue Dolphins, was about that island and a Native American woman who was stranded for decades on that island all by herself. But what a lot of people don't realize is that story is true. And there really was a Native American woman who was stranded on that island. And I'm gonna tell you her story. San Nicolas Island is the most remote of the California Channel Islands and is located 61 miles from the nearest point on the mainland coast. The island is owned by the United States government and is controlled by the U.S. Navy and is the San Nicolas Naval Facility. There is no public access to this island, which has always bummed me out because this story has always been near to my heart. It's one of the islands I've always wanted to go to. In the early 1800s, the Native American tribe, the Nicolaino, were evacuated by the Padres of the California Mission System. Within a few years, the Nicolaino people and their unique language are thought to have become extinct. The most famous of these Native Americans was the lone woman of San Nicolas Island. During the evacuation of the island, she was accidentally left behind. The stories vary why she was left behind. She lived alone on the island for 18 years. And in 1853, she was finally rescued by Captain George night of her. They took her back to Santa Barbara, where she lived with Captain night of her's family for only seven weeks before she died on October 19th, 1853. She died of dysentery. In other words, she could not handle the mainland food. She was baptized Juana Maria by the Padres. Since no one could speak her language, her birth name was never known. Mission records revealed that she is buried in the Mission Santa Barbara Cemetery near the bell tower. The Daughters of the American Revolution honored her with a plaque marking the location where they believe she lies. You can also find a statue of the famous lone woman of San Nicolas Island at the intersection of Victoria and State Street in Santa Barbara, California. In 1939, the remnants of a whale bone structure was found on the island and was thought to be a windbreak that was built by Juana Maria. 
In 2012, a U.S. Navy archaeologist reported finding a site that they believe was Moana Maria's cave, which contained many of her belongings. I encourage you to read her story in the award-winning children's novel, Islands of the Blue Dolphins by Scott O'Dell. You can find a link to the book in the description of this video. Make sure to check out the links in the description. They help support this channel. And thank you so much for coming by. You have no idea how much we appreciate it.